Next at six from the Target 12 investigators, the state has canceled a controversial audit of the Rhode Island Convention Center. The decision to cancel came about an hour after the Convention Center board voted against complying with the state order. Now we broke the details behind a flurry of developments that popped up today a week after we first broke news of this controversy. Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, with the details you saw first on WPRI.com. Within about an hour, we saw one board say no to the audit, a lawsuit filed by the House Minority Leader, and a 180-degree turn by the House Speaker. In a Convention Center board meeting featuring a positive view of 2019 finances, the last year was one of our better years. The surprise audit seemed ironic to the chairman of the board, worse according to other board members. Uh, invalid. Uh, and uh, illegal. The Joint Committee on Legislative Services ordered the audit last month in what we're told would have been the first Auditor General examination of a state quasi-public agency in at least a decade. The Convention Center audits its own finances once a year and the state audits the organization every five years with the next one scheduled for later this year. The December audit was ordered at the same time House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello's friend James Demers was placed on administrative leave by the Convention Center for a personnel matter. Demers, a retired state police captain, is the Convention Center's security director and his son works for the General Assembly. Was your first thought a connection between Mr. Demers and Mr. Mattiello? Probably. <laughs> it could be. It could be. We, we don't have facts of that, but I think there is a connection. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Within about an hour of this unanimous vote by the board against conducting the audit, the state pulled the plug on it. That did not stop House Republican Minority Leader Blake Filippi from moving forward with a lawsuit against Speaker Mattiello and the other members of the JCLS. That the Speaker has used the JCLS to, um, you know, punish his foes and reward his allies. So we want to take his deposition. We want to take depositions of others, such as Frank Montanaro and others that are on the third floor over there at the State House, and figure out what exactly has been going on in this fiefdom. House Speaker Mattiello said in a statement he firmly believes regular audits on quasi-public agencies are necessary, and he blamed the minority leader for turning this quote into a political stunt. Filippi tells us he has no plans to drop the lawsuit. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buto, Eyewitness News. And at a news conference this afternoon, House Minority Leader Blake Filippi says their investigation into the audit is not over. Lawsuit stays. Our lawsuit will continue because the basis, the main basis of our lawsuit is the illegal usurpation of JCLS's statutory authority. We're going to prove that that has happened to the court and we believe that this illegal audit will be exhibit A. Filippi says they plan to meet a filing deadline next month and have a court hearing in March.